for all for coming today. I'm just going to take a few minutes to uh, let you know about MAG. We're going to talk first of all about the current value of the company and then we're going to talk moving forward on the company and its geological upside. So we have to talk uh, just quickly about our forward-looking statements, but what we like to say with MAG is that we've had these forward-looking statements over time and we've been very, very fortunate to be able to turn them into fact because we give you these geological theses and they prove to be true and then we move on from there. We're also in, in booth 525 in case I don't cover everything today due to the short time. So, MAG, 86 million shares out, 95 million US in the bank, and no debt. We're currently trading at about $14 Canadian and about $10.50 US. You'll see uh, in some following slides that we're uh, very well institutionally held, about 77%. But you can also see a comment here by uh, uh, <coughs> John Hathaway of, of Sprott and Tocqueville of uh, how he views MAG. There we go. So we're covered by a number of analysts, 15, I would say, and, oh, 11, I would say. Our price is 15. And uh, as you can see, our share price, we've gone up and down a little bit. We're trading down a little bit net right now, but uh, as we go into production this year, uh, or we're building the mine and go into production by the end of the year, I'm sure things will change. So we mentioned earlier, MAG currently um, has uh, a very good institutional following. We have about 77% uh, uh, institutions and about 23% uh, uh, retail. So what's MAG Silver? MAG Silver is the highest grade developing silver asset out there today of size. There's other assets that are smaller and, and have high grade, but MAG is very, very large. It's a 19-year mine life right now at 4,000 tons a day. When we started MAG, we wanted to pursue high grade. We wanted to pursue high margin, meaning we wanted to make money. And we want to give that money ultimately back to the shareholders. And of course, district scale. District scale is that size that I'm talking about, which lets you go through multiple ups and downs in the market. So as an investor, you're able to weather that. Of course, the high grade lets you see and weather any kind of unforeseen development issues that you may have because your margins are so high. When we started MAG, we initially had 100% of the asset and uh, after discovering and being very, very closely located to our partner now, Fresno PLC, they, we did an earn-in uh, agreement with them, and now they own 56% of the project, and we own 44% of the project. As I mentioned earlier, we have a very strong financial position of $95 million and no debt. One of the more significant things that I'm going to talk about today, of course, as I said, is the current value of the company, but also the geological upside, because we've only actually explored 5% of our property to date, and we have a billion-dollar asset. So where are we? We're in Mexico. Mexico in the Fresnil Silver District, the preeminent area for silver in the world today. There are 15 assets in the world that have over a billion ounces of silver. Eight of them are in Mexico and four of them are in the silver trend. As you can see, uh, relative to the gray area, uh, Fresnil surrounds us and we're in the, in the blue area there. Let's zoom into that. So we're, we were very close to the Fresnil silver mine the world's largest mine for the longest time. Now the Sacito mine is the largest mine, and ours is, as you can see, just in the green area in the upper right-hand corner is where our mine is going to be. Um, this is our asset, as you can see. Here, what's going to be mined initially is the uh, red area, and then down below is what we have as additional asset going forward. What are those grades? As you can see, we have 550 grams per ton on average for 19 years, two grams gold, and then you've got five and a half percent lead zinc on top of that. One of the other things to notice there very quickly is the global resource. Fresnil, as I said earlier, we're, we're going to be building a 4,000 ton a day mill. Fresnil justifies that by having 13 million tons of resource. So that is justified by the indicated area. And as you can see, we have an additional 12 million ounces, uh, 12 million tons of inferred resource. 
So, where are we on the development? We're going. Uh, we're building it this year. By the end of this year, we'll be going into production and then uh, starting up everything next year. This is just an idea of what the vein and the structure of what we've done for the decline going down forward. As I said, I have to move fairly quickly here. This is a picture of the ramp. This is the development on surface. This is the decline uh, and the uh, for the exit portal. This is all the equipment being delivered to site right now. This is the site. And this is the size of the vein which was just taken three days ago. I have a quick video here for us that shows you the vein. So we're gonna scooch in here from the surface. On the right here is the world's largest silver mine, this acetyl mill and mine. We're just in the upper left hand corner of the, uh, of the concession here. We're going to spin it around, go underneath. This is the size of the whole Valdecanus vein. We've only explored 5% of this property, and this is what we've uh, discovered thus far. As you can see, the relativity and the size, 1.2 kilometers at the top, 2,000 uh, 2, meters at the bottom, and additional in echelon veins that we've discovered. That yellow vein, the purple, the orange one, those aren't in the mine plan. That's not what's going to be mined yet. That's additional resource that we have not put into the uh, system yet. And then you have the Venatus 1 and 2 veins, which are very interesting because they're not in the traditional east-west way. They're in a north-south trajectory, which is the first in discovery that we've found in the last 150 from Fresnillo's perspective and 500 years for the area. So I'm just going to touch lightly on the uh, geology very quickly. This is the property, 16 kilometers from the top, 7 kilometers wide, and as you can see the different areas. That blue area is what we've uh, currently looked at, 5% uh, of the property, what we've explored. We have additional areas here off Sessantoni, which reinforces the north-south structures that we've just discovered in the last couple of years. And we have additional resource because all over to the right-hand side there where Fritz Neal's properties are, is where they've been chasing the vein to our property. So we've actually come across what we believe to be the upwelling fluid zone for the region, where all the source of the, of the mineralization came up and then fl uh, flowed out onto the Fresnillo side of the property. So where Fresnillo's veins start 350 meters below, and then they stop 400 meters below that, ours keeps going down and down and down because we have established and confirmed this uh, fact that we are on the upwelling fluid zone. So just in, in closing, quickly, uh, MAG is high-grade, district-scale operation that at this point is 19 years in the make, 19-year mine life. It's going into production at the end of this year. We have $95 million US in the bank, and we have no debt. Significant exploration, whereas everywhere we drill right now on that vein, we keep finding more and more. We have the north-south structures in Sessantoni, and then we have additional, what we believe, additional upwelling fluid zones on the property.